What sort of fun things do Carrie and I do with Bandit and Shiva other than dog sledding or bike joring? Well, in today's episode, we'll show you. Welcome to another episode of Massachusetts. I'm your host, Bob Tremblay. It's been a while since we've posted a video, um, and that's for a number of reasons. Mostly, the semester started up again, and I was away on another um, orientation expedition with my incoming students. So we're up in the North Main Woods, uh, exploring the wilderness by canoe. But anyway, I'm home now. I'm going to share with you today some video from about a month ago, when Carrie and I actually went on a vacation with Bandit and Shiva. So a lot of times people wonder is, you know, what do you do with the dogs other than uh, bike joring or dog sledding? Well, um, we, we hike with them a lot, we take them canoeing, and uh, one of the issues that we have had is when we want to go on vacation is we often put them in a kennel, which we don't like to do. So anyway, we just recently kind of tested things out and we went up to uh, northern New Hampshire to Franconia, Franconia New Hampshire. And we got an Airbnb, and the dogs did great kind of uh, sharing the Airbnb with us. And we did go bike joring and did some exploring and hiked along some rivers. So uh, we've got a bunch of photographs here and um, some video to share with you to show you how we go vacationing with our dogs. Um, in the meantime here, so we have a home project going on. We're putting a sunroom on our house. So anyway, sit back, and we'll share our recent vacation with you. So here's Carrie and I. Earlier in the summer, we had gone on a vacation out to western New York, but we felt bad because we had left the dogs at home. So for our um, second kind of away vacation for the summer, we found this Airbnb in Franconia, New Hampshire. And um, once we got inside, we were really pleased with it. It was very homey and uh, actually reminded us a lot of our own home. And we settled in very, very quickly. And the dogs did as well. So to make the dogs more comfortable, we brought their favorite chew toys. Um, so they had those with them. And uh, also, too, to kind of just uh, respect the property, we brought blankets from home to cover all the furniture because the dogs do go on the furniture. So we covered everything up so that things wouldn't get too hairy, just trying to be responsible Airbnb renters. And the dogs settled in very quickly. Um, on the couches and on the beds. Again, we covered everything up with blankets and afghans that we brought from home. So it was a really beautiful area. There we are on um, Sugar Hill, New Hampshire, looking over at Mount Lafayette. Uh, we drove up there and we watched the sunset, which was really nice. The dogs were in the back of the car. But our big draw in heading out there was we wanted to bike along the Ammanusik River. So we headed out to the Ammanusik um, Rail trail. Uh, it's got several bridges that go over the river, uh, very scenic the whole length. And the weather was cool enough that we were able to run the dogs. Um, a highlight of the river trail is this um, very large covered bridge in ba Bath, New Hampshire, and uh, very, very scenic. Um, it's a long covered bridge, a really neat, small, uh, quintessential New England town, and uh, the waterfalls there and the kettle holes um, also are really. Cool to see. So, made for a great bike ride with the dogs. It was cool enough, by the way. Um, there's some of those kettle holes and things that kind of spill over um, below the, the covered bridge. And then uh, it was fun to check out. Believe it or not, Carrie rode her bike in the skirt, <laughs> which she does a lot, which is fun. Uh, we did bring water for the dogs, so I carried water in a backpack and we had their favorite bowls. You see that even when we stopped, they were always taut at the line and ready to continue going. Uh, then um, the next day we actually t just went hiking in Franconia. So in Franconia they have a really neat art trail going through town and so we hiked with the, walked with the dogs, checked out some of the, the art um, and the sculptures that are on the art trail. The art trail goes right along the river so we had that as well. Uh, Carrie, the dogs wanted to go in the water so Carrie vent. What river is that? Gale, yeah. Gale, yeah. Look how cute they are. Actually, I think it's Amanusik. Look how cute they are. <laughs> I 
or all in their biking clothes. He looks so naturally balanced. Oh my god, they're so cute! Look how cute they are! Probably dangerous for their little paws. Oh! Oh! Dangerous for me! Oh! Once Carrie and the dogs were out of the river, we continued along the art trail and walk through beautiful Franconia, New Hampshire. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video. Vacation with dogs does take some planning. Um, you know, you want to make sure that they're comfortable and that they have the things that they need from home, but that they're also well behaved and able to be in a new environment, meeting new people and being in new places and be on their best behavior. Uh, so anyway, I think we, um, we kind of demonstrated how we do that. Um, it's really nice and cool right now, so I think we're going to run the dogs today. So it looks like some good, cool weather is back, and we can start looking forward to more mushing and stuff. So anyway, I'm going to get the dogs harnessed up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time somewhere on the trail.